Breaking news! Tough Needle has added coils to their OG foam mattress, a hybrid mattress with a simple construction. I've got to check it out. I'm Lauren, editor and mattress embedding expert here at Mattress Nerd. I've tested and reviewed hundreds of mattresses, and today we are in the Nerd Lab to run the Tough Needle Hybrid through a bunch of geeky tests. I'll go in-depth on performance and, of course, give you my pro-con list. So let's see if the Tough Needle Hybrid can bring the extra bounce and balance motion isolation and responsiveness like they promise. But first, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. I want to start off by letting you guys know that we actually bought this mattress with our own money, but we may earn a commission if you decide to get one for yourself. But that commission does not go to me, so this is a gloves off review. Now I'm going to start off by giving you some quick hits regarding the Tuft and Needle Hybrid and its policies so you know exactly what to expect when you buy. Now this bed ships for free at your door in a box to the contiguous US. You'll have 100 nights to try it out. If you don't like it, you can return it for a full refund. But if you do like it, you can enjoy Tuft and Needle's 10 year warranty. Now if you want to know more about these policies in depth, you can check out our full written review in the description. Now, normally this is the part of the review where I would cut into the mattress and show you all the layers, but this bed literally has like three layers, so there's not much to see. Now, the top layer is made of graphite infused open cell foam, which is supposed to be more cooling and breathable than regular foam. Then there's a mint layer that's an even more cooling layer. And then there are pocketed coils, which will add some bounce, durability, and breathability to this mattress. And that's it. Mattress Nerd, we like to rate firmness on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being firmer than a trampoline left out during an ice storm. We've all seen those videos. Now, the Tuft and Needle Hybrid is a 6 out of 10 on this scale, making it the perfect middle of the road firmness that works best for the average side, back, and stomach sleeper. But we also want to see how well this bed responds to your movements using this lacrosse ball. So, as I bounce it on the floor, you see it comes right back up to me. Now, let's try this on the mattress surface. So as I'm bouncing it here, we're not getting a ton of air, not a ton of bounce. It's going to work pretty well for combination sleepers, but the heavier you are, you may feel a little stuck in these top foam layers. Now, sleeping positions is arguably the most crucial section in a mattress review because a bed's going to perform differently based on your sleep position and body type. So think about if you primarily sleep on your side, back, or stomach as I move through this section, starting with side sleepers. Side sleepers need a mattress that keeps pressure off of the hips and the shoulders and keeps the spine in a straight line. Now, when it comes to the tuft and needle hybrid, it's not the best option for side sleepers no matter what your body type is. We kept seeing pressure in the hips or the shoulders of our light, average, and heavyweight testers. Check out the pressure maps for yourself and you can see what I'm talking about. Now on to back sleepers. You guys are easy. All you need is a mattress that maintains the natural S-curve of your spine and the tuft needle does that really well while keeping pressure off of the low back. Here are those pressure maps. Now on to stomach sleepers, like me. We just need a bed that is firm enough to keep the hips elevated and in line with the rest of the spine. Now we don't do pressure maps here because it's not really indicative of pressure in the low back. But this bed is firm enough for light to average weight stomach sleepers. Heavier stomach sleepers are going to want a mattress that's a little firmer to keep those hips elevated. If you sleep with a partner, maybe a pet or even a child, and their movements often wake you up, that's called motion transfer, and that's not what we want. What we want is motion isolation, which is the bed's ability to stifle motion right at the source, keep it from transferring across the mattress and waking up your partner. So here's the test. I placed a beaker of liquid on that side of the bed. The movement in that beaker will signify how much movement you feel on the other side as I disturb this side. So as I press my hands into the mattress, mimicking the feel of tossing and turning, we're not really seeing any movement in that beaker. Now we're gonna test this further by dropping a weighted ball into the bed to simulate someone getting in and out. And as I do this, there's not too much more movement in that beaker, so I would say that you'll sleep pretty soundly on the Tuft Needle Hybrid. Now let's talk about edge support. Now edge support refers to the level of support you're gonna get around the perimeter of your mattress. It's really good for edge of the bed sleepers, folks who rely on the edges to get in and out of bed, and couples who want some space from each other. Now the Tuft Needle Hybrid has above average edge support. It's not the best we've ever seen, but it's gonna support you adequately. 
that's about all I have to say. Money talks and I listen, and we all know that cost is a huge factor when shopping for anything. So let's talk about the price of the Tuft & Needle Hybrid. Now throughout testing and reviewing hundreds of mattresses, I found that most queen size beds range anywhere between $500 to $3,500. And the Hybrid is around $2,000 for a queen, so not cheap. But prices are always changing, so check the link in our description for the most up-to-date pricing and our exclusive coupons. All right, we're near the end of this review, so it's time to wrap it all up with a pro-con list. I made a list of the three best and worst things about the Tuft Needle Hybrid here. I like to start out with the bad news, so let's get into the cons. First up, while this bed has good responsiveness, heavier sleepers may feel stuck in those layers so it won't be as easy for them to change sleeping positions. Next up, this isn't the most budget-friendly hybrid in the world, so if you are on a money-saving mission, this is not gonna be the bed for you. And lastly, if you want that elevating top of the mattress feel of a hybrid, you aren't gonna get it here. It has more of a foam feel than a hybrid feel. But on to the pros. First up, this bed has really great motion isolation even though it is a hybrid. So if you and your partner have trouble sleeping soundly, this is a great option for you. Next up, this has a good amount of airflow for hot sleepers, so if you sweat at night, you shouldn't do that on the Tuft Needle Hybrid. And lastly, the edge support is pretty solid, so if you like to sleep there or you need them to get in and out of bed, you shouldn't run into any issues. So bottom line, does the Tuft Needle Hybrid balance motion isolation and responsiveness? Yes, so I would recommend it to couples. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below, and while you're at it, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to our channel. It always helps. And for more content like this, follow us on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.